Okay, so here we go. It's my latest pickup in the den. I've been out spending money again, which is always nice. I went out to Cash Generator. Now, it's one of the few places in town where you can actually still pick up secondhand consoles at a reasonable price. You can do that at CEX as well, uh, but they seem to charge a little bit more. But Cash Generator, uh, I got this for £10. Well, actually, no, Mario is from CEX, but it also cost a tenner. Uh, so, yes, I finally own a Nintendo Wii. I'm a little bit late to the party, but, you know, that's that's fine. Still retro, I guess. My only disappointment, really, is that this is how they package up their consoles. Now, I know it's effectively a pawn shop, and there's a raffle ticket on the bottom of this, uh, which kind of proves it. But come on, guys, take a little bit of pride. It's not really that difficult. Right, let's, um, let's unpack it, shall we? Be very, very careful with the cling film. Don't want to, um, yeah, don't want to cut anything apart. That would be, I mean, absolute tragedy. Though from here it already looks a little bit like Spaghetti Junction, so this is going to be very interesting to unbox. Or unwrap. I think it's definitely an unwrapping party rather than unboxing. Okay, so, if it, if it moves, this will be the first thing. Here we go with one nunchuck. Don't know if you can see, but it's it's pretty ming and it's a little bit manky, a little bit dirty. But that should clean up okay. The other bit, of course, I need is the controller. Surprisingly enough, no batteries. I can tell that just by the way. Yep, no batteries. I noticed there's no wrist strap, which is kind of odd. I thought they came with a controller. A uh, slightly yellow D-pad, but again, it, you know, it's, it's just discolouring. That can be cleaned up. That's not the end of the world. The sensor. Can't really do the Wii without the sensor, which handily has some free blue tack. Yeah, free blue tack. Yay! If I can ever untangle it, that is. Just pull this cable out. That would be some sort of video adapter. Yes. Just needs a wee scart block on the back of it because my TV doesn't take the direct input. I've got one of those. That's all good. Power cable. Again, that's that's vital to play the Wii. Feral size of transformer though. Kind of like the size of the Xbox 360 one. It's huge. Uh, the base plate for the Wii. I don't know if it's quite picking up. It's not, no. Uh, but just about there are some scuff marks. Oh, it's definitely not showing up too good, but they are there. Honest. In fact, if I do this, that's better. Now you can see them. There they are. It's like somebody's been chewing at it. Not in terrible, Nick. Good excuse to maybe sand it down and give it a paint. So I think it's time uh, to set this bad boy up and see if it works. So everything's plumbed in if I give the Wii some power. Yay! A health and safety warning. That's always good. Before playing, read your operations manual for important information about your health and safety. And in case of emergency, the nearest exits are located here, 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 and here. Please press A to continue. So there we go. That's my latest unboxing, or as this episode was really, it was a bit of an unwrapping. An absolute bargain of a Wii. Uh, £10 for the console, £10 for Mario Galaxy, and one of my work colleagues who um, isn't playing his Wii at the moment and isn't using his GameCube controller has just lent me an absolute ton of stuff. Uh, so I've got Mario Kart to play, I think I've got Metroid Prime and Super Mario Sunshine for the GameCube. Next time I suspect uh, I'll do an update on my PS2 collection. I've been adding some interesting games to that so I'll do an update about the PlayStation 2 shortly. If you want to comment about any of your latest pickups then you know hit comment below. Remember to subscribe to our channel and we're also on Facebook and Twitter so have a look for us there as well. Thanks again for watching.